We got our combine, pro day, private workout, and then draft. With the first pick, Andrew Luck, Robert Griffin the third, Trent Richardson. You have no idea who's going to pick you, and you have to just wait and see. Here you are coming out of college, and you think you know, but you don't know. It's kind of like going to school your whole life, and then all of a sudden, it's in Chinese the next day. Never walk back, never walk back. I keep telling myself that, you know, Dwayne, you don't have time to be a rookie. When I'm done and I want people to be like, he was a passionate football player, he had a relentless attitude. It's all about not losing sight of why you're here. Football. You gotta dream big and live big. I'm always gonna work, I'm always gonna be home. I'm everything that you thought I was, and then some. I have everything to prove. My rookie season, man, as far as me playing, has always been on the upside. For me to come in as a rookie and, and to try to be a leader, I was going to lead by example no matter what. And that's just what I learned here in Alabama. Alabama, they win the BCS championship. Oh, uh, man, it's game time. Coming through this tunnel. I used to roll this crimson tide every time I used to come through here. It just meant everything when I came out here on this field, man. Coming back to Alabama as a professional, you know, it's an honor to be here. You know, I was here just last year playing and grinding out with these guys, and, and I know what these guys are going through. My family is very important to me. They you know, just put a smile on my face because I know what I'm working for them. <laughs> you like Justin Bieber? Yes. What you doing liking Justin Bieber? I want to play way longer than one contract. I want to play more than two contracts. I want to be one of them guys that go in the Hall of Fame. With our talks with all the athletes, the athletes see from their personal information is we're using their own yep. bodies as an example. We're not just saying, hey, you're a running back, you should do this. So when we see Trent and we see here are things that your body is doing, here are ideas to help you better increase your longevity and actually improve performance. Feeling your body is one of the most important things because I want to be a great player. Touchdown, Trent Richardson! I want to be a player that's always been remembered. That's my goal. So I got to make sure that my body is right for that next Sunday. What a play by the rookie from Alabama. Brady, handoff, Woodhead left. Touchdown. Patson come all the way back from a 28-point deficit. The offense has to come up with the drive. Come on, fellas, dig deep. It is unbelievable this has happened. The United are in complete control of this game. I have everything left to prove. I've never even really played in a regular season game yet. I practice hard. Uh, I do everything right during the week, but I haven't yet to see the field on the Sunday to, you know, to prove to my teammates that I'm, I'm ready to play. Michael James is the deep man for the 49ers. Michael James comes up the far side to the 20, out to the 25, to the 30, up to the 40. James up the far side to the 50. Michael James runs it all the way back inside the New England 40. Michael James makes a big play. Touchdown 49ers! And credit to Michael James, the kick return that set that up. I think, you know, when you're faced with adversity, you know, you got to challenge it. Uh, you know, I have to keep fighting. Uh, nobody said it was going to be easy. And I just kept telling myself that I was going to get down there. And I, and I believed in it, and uh, it happened. The overall experience so far of me being here has been really fun, and uh, I've enjoyed it a lot. Especially being somewhere different other than, you know, where my brother has been and kind of, you know, making a name for myself. <laughs> It's exciting. It's surreal to think about, really. Uh, my brother coming in to basically play professional football, me having to worry about him on Sunday. Rack that weight, rookie. Yeah, it was a pretty cool picture because it was my first NFL game. I had to beg them to let me on field goal block, and they finally did. I blocked one. <laughs> it was Matt Khalil that got in there to block that play. The big fella comes up with it. It was team. awesome. It's a good memory to have. You know, I've struggled in college with maintaining my weight, but um, you know, I've stayed the same weight, one pound over or under um, 310. He's actually up a few pounds. His percent body fat is actually down. To accomplish that in the offseason with a guy his size would be impressive, and you'd be happy with it. To do it in season tells you you've got a good professional who cares about taking care of himself. It's just eating healthy, staying consistent with my protein shakes and, and all those things, and feeding my body before and after a workout. I think that's been one of the main reasons for my success. It's been a special season for us so far. Not many people expect a bunch out of us. One, two, three, three. Well, your Minnesota Vikings keeping alive playoff hopes. 
I think uh, what I have left to prove is that even though I'm a rookie tackle, is, you know, I can possibly this year be the best left tackle in the NFC. The future obviously is very bright for Mac Millel. Robert Griffin III was named the NFC Offensive Rookie of the Month for the second time in three months. What else can he do? It's been a whirlwind, been very fast. Now, no matter where I'm at, everyone knows who I am, and I always hear RG3s in the wind. You know, I want to be a star, um, not just this year or, or next year, but for a long time. I just continue to work to be great, not necessarily for the spotlight, but I won't mind uh, what comes as a benefit of being good. Robert has a good background in health and nutrition. He's also one of those guys that is looking for the small details to improve his performance. So even though it may not be a huge add, he's willing to take the small piece because all those small pieces are going to add up for him. Right now we're getting where we need to be. Let's get this to 150. You have to take care of your body, period. You have to make sure you're fueling your body the right way to help you, you know, maintain uh, what you have throughout the season because for the most part, nobody plays at 100%. Uh, for a whole season. We're all working at 85 to 90 percent and it's just who's 85 to 90 percent is better on game day. Robert takes the snap, scrambles up the middle, breaks the tackle. He's to the 30, 35, 40, up the sideline, 50. RG3 electrified all the way into the end zone. RG3 for the touchdown. I think I've proven to my team uh, that I'm the quarterback that, that they need. I think I've proven to myself um, that I can play in this league, that I belong in this league. The Redskins back in the playoff picture. You know, I think I've proven to these fans that I'm the quarterback that they've been waiting for for a long time. San Diego is very different from North Carolina. People dress different, people act different, but it's a great place and I feel like it's starting to feel like home to me. This is the only type of stuff I see on TV. Oh, I threw it too high. Too high. When we go off and play at other places, it's like cold and stuff like that. So it's just like, I wish I was back in San Diego. But I feel like they brought me here for a reason. And it's me putting that pressure on myself to, to try to fulfill that reason. And throughout this season, I've learned what you put in is what you get out. That's perfect. That's when you get something out of it. At the end of the day, you got to know your body is what got you here. Your body is what keeps you going. So you got to put the right things in it to keep going. This season has been a blessing. It's just the opportunity to wake up and do something that I love to do on a daily basis. So why not try to be great at this game? Just destroyed inside by Melvin Ingram. If, you, if you're not trying to be great at it, then there's no reason to play it. Good job, With the first pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Andrew Luck. It was a neat experience, you know, having grown up watching the draft. You know, to, to sort of do what, I, what I've seen other football heroes in my life do was, was special. In the past, a, a guy is drafted in a certain position, he's anointed. I think he's taking the exact opposite approach. Good job. He's trying to earn his stripes. It was a pleasure working with you all this week. Let's keep it up, come back strong. Here we go. Colts on three. One, two, three. Colts. He got drafted number one because he was the most talented guy for what the Indianapolis Colts needed. I mean, they lost an outstanding quarterback, and they wanted to build their legacy on the foundation of having an outstanding quarterback. And I, I think he has been as advertised. I think it's his, his passion, his will to win. And the great ones have it, and are able to bestow it on everybody in the huddle. Andrew, he understands how to take control of a huddle. Dwayne, get in the huddle, get in the huddle. He'll be like, all right, let's go, you know, and uh, we'll be in focus. Here we go, here we go, here we go, fellas, listen up. Make every drive count. He's playing the game at a level that our team is winning because of him. Who would have thought that the Colts could be playing for a playoff spot? When you're playing for something, I think it's easy to stay motivated. It's fun to, you know, play this sport as a professional and, and you know you dream of it as a kid and, and, and now you're here. I think I was able to you know earn a lot of respect by the way that I came in and kept my head down and feet churning type of mentality. Elbows in, thumbs up, right? I recognize differences in practice on a daily basis based on what I put in my body and knowing what to fuel my body with, when to fuel my body to keep in good enough shape to perform week in and week out. Okay. 
since the bye week, my role has, has increased. Once I became a, a every down tight end and was able to play a little bit more. Oh, he's made great progress. He's done a great job of increasing his ability to catch and move. Just has made leaps and bounds about blocking defensive ends at this level. To have the improvement that I've had during this first year, the experience that I've gained during this first year, it's important. Allen with a catch at the six. Dwayne Allen with a great catch in traffic. Do we have any fighters in here? There they go. Hey. I, I, I was a little bit of a fighter too, man. Love sharing my story. I, I was there. I was there. I needed someone to inspire me. I needed someone to believe in me, to give me hope. And Coach Emmett was that guy that came along for me. Dwayne can do anything Dwayne wants to do. I've always told him that, and, and he believes that now. Touchdown, Dwayne Allen! Touchdown, Dwayne Allen! I can put myself in position to be a key player in this in this league. And, I, and it's like I said, I believe that I can be one of the best tight ends in this league. Dwayne Allen is a rookie going on his seventh year in the league. I haven't even begun. I haven't, I really haven't even begun. Man, yeah, just keep playing. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to come. Yeah. He's going to come. He throws, caught, touchdown, Dwayne Allen. I still have everything proof. Mm -hmm.